Namaste. Welcome to flow yoga practice. For that, you might need a couple blocks, um, a blanket, or a cushion to support your your hips. It's just quite more comfortable to have the hips in the same level or above your knees. And find any cross legs variation that feels right for you. And find the best alignment you can between hips, shoulders, ears, getting taller, hands on your knees, or in yoga. Index and thumbs are connected to the tips and the other fingers are just straightened. Take a big breath in, letting go to the mouth. A couple more times. Inhale, connecting with the present moment. Letting go to the mouth. Letting go any tension from the body. Inhale. And letting go the past, the future. Connecting with the space where you are. Gently scanning the body from head to toes, just noticing the sensations. You might notice pulsations, vibrations, pressure, pain. They are all sensations that come and go like waves in the ocean. Inhaling, raising your arms, bringing palms together. Grounding, connecting with yourself and with the world. Exhaling, bring the hands together in front of your heart. Notice your heartbeat right now. Feel it through the edges of your, your hands. And bring in intention to inspire your practice. Anything that you like to improve in yourself. Sankalpa. The power of intention. Take a big breath in to chant the mantra all if you like. Feeling the energy field around you. 
Inhale, raising arms, interlacing fingers, turning palms out, stretching the upper body. Exhaling, moving the hands in circles. Really exploring your lungs' capacity. Really exploring the range of movement of your rests here. Preparing it to get some weight. Hands on your knees, inhaling, arching, so tilting the tailbone, opening the heart space, stretching the throat, exhaling, rounding the spine like a cat, chin to the chest, pubic bone forward, inhaling, arching, you can keep going your arm breath pace. Exhaling, rounding, really stretching the whole back and neck. One more time, in, exploring the range of movement of your whole spine. Exhaling, rounding. Inhaling, neutral. to the parts of your body that are moving when you inhale and exhale. Your hands can be in your, knee, in your knees or in your nose That symbolizes wisdom, by the way. Just notice, what is the length? What is the depth of your breath right now? And gently start to expand your belly in all directions, then the rib cage and the upper chest. So everything expands, make a balloon forward towards the sides and back. And when you exhale, everything deinflates like a balloon. Inhaling, inflating, breathing slow as you can, deep and gentle. Exhaling, you can squeeze pelvic floor in and up, which is Mula Bandha. You can bring belly towards the spine, Udhyana Bandha, which you will press, compress your lungs and bring all the old air out. Creating space for fresh air coming in. You're welcome to the Ujjayi. Or you can gently contract the back of the throat, which creates a subtle sound with the air when it comes in and out. It turns out audible breath. And whenever you feel ready, Explore Chaturanga Panayama. Breathe in in four seconds, exhale in four seconds. And if you have normal blood pressure and cardio conditions, you can hold the air inside up to four seconds and empty lungs up to four seconds. It will help you to expand your lungs capacity. and calm the nervous system. Let's do that for another minute. You can do Mula Bandha, Udhyana Bandha while you hold it there inside, exhale and hold empty lungs.
After your exhalation, just surrender into your natural breath. Inhaling gently, raising arms, arching. Exhaling, bring your hands under your shoulders. You're welcome to pat your knees with a blanket. Inhaling, flat the back. Exhaling, bring the hips towards the right and back. Inhale, hips to the side and forward. You can keep moving with your arm breath pace. Waking up your hips. Waking up your roots. Muladhara Chakra. Switching directions. So, the Muladhara Chakra is the root chakra and its center related with our basic instincts. The ones that look for food, shelter, safety. Neutral. Inhaling, lengthen to the spine and maybe raise your right leg. See how you feel engaging your core. And from there, see how you feel about raising your left arm, getting taller, exhaling, knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee, inhaling, extending the limbs, exhaling, curving the back, inhaling, extending the limbs. One more time, exhaling, knee to the knee, knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extending the limbs and stay there. Lengthening to the spine, strong core. Exhaling, release. Tuck your toes in, inhaling, downward facing dog. Stand your rotation on your shoulders, pressing into your hands and feet. So very important, feet hips distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart and from there start to bend one knee at a time. Keep the awareness of your breath. Neutral Inhaling knees, hips distance apart, untuck the toes, inhaling raising the left leg high but keep the hips squared, yeah, and from there see what happens if you lift your right arm forward, inhaling lengthen to the spine, strong core, exhaling knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee, Inhaling, extending the limbs. Exhaling, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extending. Exhaling, crunching. Inhale, extending and stay there. Strong core. Exhaling, releasing. Tuck your toes in. Inhale, downward facing dog. And this time, inhale, raising the heels. Exhaling, heels down. Inhale, heels up. Exhaling, heels down. One more time, in and out. Inhaling, looking between your hands. Arching. You can walk towards your hands or you can bend the knees and jump. In between your hands, like a cat. Yeah. Inhale, flatten the back. Exhaling, letting go. Interlacing the forearms. You can tuck the fingers in between the, the elbow, the opposite elbow. And letting go the whole weight of the upper body. Shift the hips over your hips. Sometimes it's the hips is far back, right? So we're shifting the weight forward. And 
and relax the head. Very important. And feel free to rock the hips from side to side. Neutral. You can nod your head like yes. Like no. Neutral. Inhaling, releasing. Exhaling. Bend the knees a little bit with the arms relaxed. Start to raise vertebra by vertebra all the way up with your inhalation. Inhaling, raising arms, bouncing your toes. Exhaling, bring arms down. Inhale, raising arms, bouncing in your toes. It helps to fix the eyes somewhere in front of you. Exhaling, bring arms down. Inhale, up and stay there. Just play with your balance. Exhaling, bring your arms down, rotating the, the feet, feeling the energy field around you. Inhale, shoulders forward and up. Exhaling, shoulders back and down. Your arm breath pace. Inhale, shoulders forward and up. Exhaling, letting go any tension from neck, shoulders, upper back. One more time, in and out. Inhaling, bring feet together, raising the arms. Exhaling, bring palms together in front of your heart. Mountain pose. So, in mountain pose, it's a foundation for any other standing pose. So make sure you're rooting the four corners of your feet, lifting your arms, spreading the toes, and activate your core, your quads, the glutes, getting taller. Find the best alignment you can between ears, shoulders, hips, ankles. Sometimes we are far forward or too far back. Yeah. Get strong in your mountain. Inhaling, raising the arms. For salutation, look into your thumbs. Exhaling, bending forward. Belly head towards your legs. Hands beside of your feet. Inhaling, flatten the back. Exhaling, root in your hands. You can bend the knees for that. And step back with the right foot. Final lunge. So here, if you have any problem on the way, you can bring that to the side. And open the heart space. I like to have the tip of my fingers on the mat. And sink the hips down. Inner smile, opening the hips, exhaling, rooting the hands, spread the fingers, lifting the hips a little bit to step with the left foot back and find your plank, engaging your core, exhaling, bending the elbows very close to the torso, going all the way down as low as you can, inhaling, Go into Cobra with the legs on the mat, shoulder blades towards each other, away from the ears, stretch in the front part of the torso and your throat as well. Exhaling, tuck your toes in and find downward facing dog that we already did today. So push into your hands, hips towards to the sky. Creating space in your joints.
Jai if you like. The victorious breath. Inhaling, looking between your hands. Exhaling, shifting the upper body forward, bringing the right knee towards your chest and then step with the right foot in between your hands. Lunge. Open the heart space. Sinking the hips down. Exhaling, stepping forward with the left foot. Flatten the back. Exhaling. Belly, head towards your legs. Inhaling, raising the arms. Bring palms together, look into your hands. Exhaling, bring hands together in front of the heart. And feel your heart beat with the edge of your hands. Just notice the heat, the sun salutation, Sudan so Oscar and Sanskrit creates in the body. Your heartbeat might be faster. Yeah. Inhaling, raising the arms, and turn towards you, and bring the right foot across off the left, and left hand grab your right forearm, inhale, lift into the spine, exhaling, bring hips towards the right side, and bending towards the left. Getting this good stretch in the whole right side of the body. Inhale, come back to center. Balancing on your toes. Exhaling, grabbing your left forearm. Left foot across of the right. Inhale, left into the spine. Engaging the core. Exhaling, bending to the right. So left hip, this time is going to the left. Directing the breath into the left side of the body. So be balancing this pose. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your arms down. Feeling the energy field around you. Inhale, shoulders up, squeezing those muscles. Exhaling, shoulders down, letting go the tensions. A couple more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhaling, letting go. Lovely. Strong in your mountain pose. Inhale, raising the arms. And shift the hips forward. Rooting to the four corners of your feet to back bending. So lengthening to the lower back, opening the heart space, looking back, 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 like into the back wall. Make sure your core is strong, playing with your balance. Exhaling, bending forward, belly, head towards your legs. Inhaling, flatten the back. Exhaling, step with your right foot back. Lunge. Inhaling, raising the arms, balancing, crescent lunge. And here you can back bend. Arching, arching, arching. Exhaling, rooting the back foot. And sink the, the hips down, arms parallel to the, to the floor. Inhaling, extending the front knee. Exhaling, sinking the hips down, bend the left knee. Inhale, extending the left. Exhaling, bending it. And make sure that your left knee is over your left foot. Yes. 
Inhale, lengthen to the spine. Exhaling. Bring left arm towards the sky or over your head. Really stretching the whole left side of your body. Inhaling, extending the front knee, arms parallel to the mat. Getting taller, engaging the quads. Open the hips, exhaling like reaching something forward. And then from there, raising right arm towards the sky. Looking at your up thumb. And left hand actually is not doing much here. You're sustaining your upper body with your core. Yeah. Awareness of your breath. Inhaling, bringing your hands on the front part of your mat. Maybe you can hop a little bit forward with the, the right foot, just enough to square the hips. So left hip back, right hip forward. Inhale, left into the spine, exhaling, bending forward. Inhale, waving your spine. Up, just enough to flatten the back. Exhaling, wave the spine down. One more time, inhale, waving up. Keep your fingers rooted and always feel welcome to use the blocks. Yeah. And exhaling, just surrender down there. Inhale, lunge, exhaling, one leg plank, so left knee close to the torso, exhaling, step back, plank, inhale, waving into downward facing dog, exhaling, waving into plank, inhale, downward facing dog, Exhaling, plank. One more time. Inhale, hips up. Exhaling, plank. And bend the knee, the elbows all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog. So the legs are floating here. Or cobra, if you want to have your legs on the mat. Arching, really stretching the throat, exhaling, downward facing dog, bring the knees apart, like widen the near hips, untuck the toes, tilt in the tailbone, and sink in the belly, the chest down. You're welcome to have your arms in any variation. I personally like to have my forearm, um, my forehead into my hands. So child pose. It's a, just a quick break to connect with Mother Earth, with your inner child. And letting go. Inhale, straighten the arms over your head, hands shoulder distance apart, and raise your hips, tuck your toes in, hips distance apart for downward facing dog. Lunge. Yeah. 
nice blocks. If you're like, having a hard time with lunch, blocks are the best friends. Yeah, you can have like in, in, in the highest set as well. Yeah, make sure you're comfortable. All right, so engaging the legs, engaging the core, inhale, raising arms, and arching. Playing with your balance, with your strength. Inhaling warrior two, so arms parallel out to the floor. Sink here from knee down. Yeah. Forward, yes. And the hips down. Yeah. Inhale, extending from knee. Exhaling, bending it. Inhale, extending strong core and legs. Exhaling, bending. One more time. Inhale, extending it from me. Exhaling, sinking. And inhale, raising the right arm towards the sky, maybe over your head, left hand, just somewhere in your back leg. And breathe into the right side of the body. Yes. Peaceful warrior. You can look into the up thumb, it's fine if it's fine for your neck. Inhaling, releasing, extending it from me, getting taller here, opening the hips to the side of your, your mat. So yeah, so right hips like forward, left hip back, yeah, engaging those quads. Inhale with me, exhale, like reach something forward and then from there, right hand just in the inner side of um, your right leg, left arm towards the sky, looking to the up thumb and core on, yeah, sustaining your back straighten. Breathe, moving, using the power of your breath to hold your, your poses. Inhaling, bring hands shoulder distance apart beside of your right foot. And here you are welcome to hop a little bit forward with the left foot and square the hip, so right hip a little bit back, left hip a little bit forward, lengthening to the spine, exhaling, bending forward, inhaling, you can wave your spine until you get flattened, and exhaling, bending, like, like just hopping the um, Snake movements, yeah, inhale, waving up, exhale, waving up, and stay there. Surrendering into pyramid pose. From me, find your lunge. Exhaling, lifting the hips a little bit. And one leg plank. Stepping back into downward facing dog. Inhaling, arching. Exhaling, rounding the spine. So here is a variation of cow cat pose. So you're downward facing dog, you inhale, arching. Exhaling, rounding. So you keep your feet, hands, and hips in the same spot. It's just your spine moving here. Inhaling, arching. Exhaling, rounding. Lovely. Inhaling, plank. Bend. One elbow. Second elbow. For forearm plank. Feel free to have your knees on the mat anytime or resting child pose. Inhale left into the spine.
spine exhale start to walk towards your elbows feel free also to be just in downward facing one same thing huh yeah so this is a preparation for for arm stands inhale raising the right leg pointing the toes square the hips exhaling rooting your right foot inhale raising the left leg high as you can pointing your toes strong legs and core exhaling left foot down inhaling hips towards the sky shoulders over the elbows looking between your hands yes holding there exhaling walking back for plank inhaling separating the knees a little bit and sinking your body into child pose enjoy it you can bring arms down so you can bring hands towards your feet and, and just take a big breath in and let it go through the mouth One more time, inhale, connecting with Mother Earth and letting go to the mouth. Inhaling, bring arms over your head, tuck your toes in, hips up, downward facing dog. I know your favorite pose. Inhale, looking between your hands. Exhaling, bending the knees, and you can walk towards the hands or jump. Close as you can to the tip of your fingers. Inhale, flat in the back. Exhaling, feet hips distance apart, placing your hands under your toe, your your feet. So you wanna try to bring the tip of your toes to the to the, the wrists, yeah. And you, you're welcome to bend your knees a lot to do that. It's all right if you're like super tight in and yeah, it's all right. Just make your best to really place the whole palm under your feet. And then from there, you can start to see how it works to fully straighten your knees. Inhaling, flatten the back. Exhaling, bending the elbows to the sides, belly head towards your legs, hips over the ankles. Inhaling, flat the back. Exhaling, belly head towards the legs, shoulders away from the ears. Padasana pose. Inhale, flat the back. Exhaling, releasing your hands. Toes out, bending the knees for Malasana pose. So for Malasana, I know it can be a challenge for, for many people with knees issues. So feel free to use the blocks and have your hips high up and just play with the mobility of your knees. You can even like do like some dynamic movements up and down with your hips, with your knees, yeah. And if you're in Malasana, then I would turn this way. Yeah, toes a little bit out, elbows in between the knees, palms together. Shut your eyes, opening the heart space. Feel your shape from inside. Quad poses are great medicine for the digestive system. Back, 
bending. So hips forward, engaging the core, the legs arching, looking back towards the back wall. Exhaling, rooting yourself into mountain pose. And make sure you're well rooted there. Yeah. Inhale, raising the arms, bouncing your toes. Exhaling, rooting down. Shifting your weight into your right foot. And bending the left knee to the side for three poses. You can help with your left hand to bring the left foot high as you can in any part of the inner part um, of your right leg. Yeah. Arms open to the sides. Feel free to shut your eyes if you like. Play with your balance. Yeah, it's more challenging, huh? When we shut the eyes, definitely the vision has all to do with the balance. Exhaling, releasing. Inhale, raising the arms, balancing your toes, palms together. Exhaling, Utikatasana. So hands together in front of the heart, bend the knees a little bit, just enough that you still can see the tip of your toes. Straight back, tilting the tailbone a little bit. Inhale, left into the spine. Exhaling, twisting towards the right side. So, left elbow on your right thigh, twisting from tailbone all the way to your neck, looking up if it's fine for the neck. Balancing your toes, raising the arms. Exhaling, rooting through the feet, bending the knees a little bit. And exhaling, twisting to the left. Looking up, if it's fine for your neck. Breathing into your spine, nourishing the nervous system. Inhale, coming back, balancing your toes. Exhaling, mountain. Shifting the weight into your left foot this time and bend the right knee to the right side, placing the right foot anywhere in the inner side of your left leg. Rooting deep into the Mother Earth. Inhale, raising the arms to the sides. Pretty strong and wise, like an old growth tree. Shut your eyes if you like. Inhale, raising the arms, exhaling, rotating down to your mountain. Inhale, raising the arms, bouncing your toes, hands together in front of the heart. And keep this balance on the toes, tilting the tailbone, bending the knees, start to go down. Make sure your knees are happy, you don't want to feel pain, you always can grab your super blocks friends. Yeah. Going down, thighs parallel to the floor. Again, you can shut your eyes. Just to play with the balance. Open your eyes, look at your hands, inhale, spreading the fingers, palm down. The thumbs and pink, they still connected. 
and all the other fingers are spread. It symbolizes the lotus flower, the transcendence. Inhaling, palms together and start to root your hips. See if you can do that like gracefully. <laughs> I know it can be very challenging, so feel free to just place your hands on the mat and gently sit. Feet together, knees to the sides. Interlace the fingers, if it's possible, around your toes. Inhaling, arching. Exhaling, bending forward. Inhaling, waving your back, back up. Exhaling, waving the back down. A couple more times in. Out. In. Waving the spine up. Exhaling, wave the spine down and stay there. You can use the elbows to push the, the knees down. Yeah, Baddha Konasana. Directing the breath into the areas that you're feeling most, probably the hips. Inhaling, coming back, bring the knees together, hugging yourself, inhale, arching, exhaling, pointing your toes, hands underneath of the knees, and you can stay here or you can start to straighten your knees, core, yeah, engage all, your legs, Maybe no hands for Navasana. Yes, using the core. And start to make your way down as low as you can. With every breath, we go a little bit down. Every exhalation, actually. Once you get down there, take a big breath in, letting go to the mouth. And let's go into inversion. Uh, two options. You can place your hands under the hips and lift your legs. Also, you could just rest your legs against the wall and that's going to be great for the circulation of your legs. Or if you have um, no issue on your uh, neck and shoulders, palms facing down, uh, arms close to the torso. Inhale here, exhaling, feet over the head. And see if you can bring the hands towards each other and then from their place on your lower back and trying to touch the floor with your, your feet and get deep stretch into the whole posterior part of your, your body. Shut your eyes and observe the sensations from Halasana, the cloud pose. And you can walk with your elbows a little bit more towards each other 
Inhale, engaging the legs, pointing the toes, and bring legs up towards the sky. Just do the best you can, lengthening to the, the, the neck, and keep a little bit of distance in between chin and chest because you do want to preserve your natural curve, the neck curve. Imagine you not touch the ceiling, connecting the inner part of your feet, legs. Sarvangasana is a candle pose. Connecting with your inner light. So exhaling, bring vertebra to vertebra all the way down. And if you feel to play a little bit more of your core, then turn your palms up, open the arms a little bit to the sides, engage the core, exhaling, point to the toes and bring the legs straighten all the way to like 45 degrees away from the mat. Yeah, squeezing up. In your next exhalation, all the way down, bring the legs to the mat. Oh yeah, take a big breath in. And go to the mouth. Just notice the sensations. Very commonly, there is um, discomfort on the lower back. So a good compensation, counterbalance for that is bend the, the feet, the knees, and bring feet hips distance apart. Arms just uh, along of your torso with palms facing down. Inhaling, raising the hips, the middle back, the chest, high as you can. You can interlace your fingers here and you also can lift your heels. Another variation if you want something a little bit more intense as, as a back bend. You can bring your hands beside of your ears with fingers facing down towards the feet. Inhale, push into your hands, arching, arching, open the heart space, stretching the throat, drawing the heart towards the tip of your mat. And here, exhaling, bending the elbows, gently bring the back of the hands to the mat, the upper body, the lower back, the hips. And everybody, take your time to release and bring knees towards the chest, open the arms to the sides. Exhaling, knees towards the left, face towards the right, twisting. Nourishing the main energy centers throughout your spine, the chakras. Inhaling, come back to center. Exhaling, knees towards the right. 
and the face to the left. to let go and direct your breath into your, into your spine. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhaling. Shavasana. Just lying on your back, making yourself comfortable. You're welcome to have some blanket on top. Find stillness. Surrender into your natural breath. From head to toes. Relax all the muscles. The joints. The organs. Letting go any tension, anything you don't need anymore. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, just be. to deep your rest and integrate the benefits of your sadhana, your yoga practice. through the mouth and between your teeth. Creating more moisture in your mouth. It supports the immune system. Feel like you feel 
going to bring face from side to side. Maybe you want to bring knees towards your chest and just draw little circles in both directions. Turn into your side. Straighten the upper back, the upper leg. Push yourself up vertebrae, vertebrae. And find any comfortable sitting pose just to close our practice. If you're the same as me, it's just Vajrasana with big toes together, ankles open to the sides. Sit bones in between the feet. Yeah. Hands on your knees. On Shivam down. Left hand on top of the, the right for a woman. Right hand on top of the left for men. Shiva symbolizes the, the power that destroys to create space for the new to come. Feeling the sensations through your body. Noticing the difference from when you first started the practice and now. Inhaling, raising the arms, spring palms together. Grounding, connecting with yourself and with the world. Exhaling, bring your hands together. In this space in between your eyebrows, the intuition energy center. Connecting with your inner wisdom. Exhaling, bring hands together in front of your heart. Remember about your intention. You can take with you along of the day. And put the intention, the vibration, create some vibration to all the beings. Be happy, loving, healthy, and free. For the harmony in the world. And take a big breath in to chant the mantra home. Om Namah Shivaya. Thanks for sharing. Namaste.